So this is the Henry Family Cemetery. Uh, this is one of several cemeteries that are here at Red Hill. Uh, and this is the one that contains the, uh, uh, the remains, the final resting place of the American patriot Patrick Henry. Now there are seven graves that are marked here uh, in this cemetery, but there are about a dozen other graves that are, that are here. Uh, they did testing several years ago and through various means they found disturbances, uh, grave-shaped disturbances um, uh, throughout this area. So we know that there are other, uh, that there are other uh, graves that are in this immediate area. Uh, we know that one of the people that are here are, um, would be Jane Robertson, and Jane is the youngest child of Patrick and Dorothea. She was born in 1798, uh, just about a year before Patrick passed away, and she only lived to be about four days old, and it was said that this is where she is buried, but again, we don't know exactly where here in the cemetery that, uh, that she is located. This is the grave of little John Henry. Now, there were, were a lot of Johns in the Henry family. Uh, this particular one would be a great-grandson of Patrick Henry. Uh, this was the son of William Wirt Henry and his wife, Lucy. Uh, we talk about Lucy, the uh, last Henry to live in the Henry house. Uh, little John would have been uh, Lucy's little brother, and he unfortunately only lived to be about a year and a half old. Here we have the graves of Patrick Henry's youngest son, uh, John Henry, and his wife, Elvira McClelland Henry. Um, Elvira was actually part of the Cabell family, and as you may recall, Dr. George Cabell was Patrick's physician at the time of his death. The Cabells and Patrick Henry were very good friends. Um, Many of the Cabells actually served uh, as members of conventions that Patrick Henry attended. Uh, some of them were actually in attendance during the Liberty or Death speech and other uh, events that Patrick Henry was involved in. But here are the graves of John and Elvira. John uh, was only three years old when Patrick passed away, but he grew up and inherited this portion of uh, Red Hill. And together, uh, John and Elvira lived their entire married life here at Red Hill. Um, running the plantation farm. This is the grave of Laura Helen Carter. Now, uh, Laura was one of the daughters of uh, John and Elvira Henry, uh, living here at Red Hill. Uh, Laura was only about 20 years old when she passed away. She married uh, Dr. James Carter and about a year later died of tuberculosis. This is the grave marker of Alexander Spotswood. Alexander was one of the kids of Patrick and Dorothea. Uh, he went on to marry Paulina Cabell, who was the daughter of Dr. George Cabell, who was Patrick Henry's attending physician at the time of his death. Uh, Paulina died well before Alexander did, and Alexander actually died um, as a destitute uh, at the home of his son. And uh, the stone that you see here today was added years after he passed away, um, marking the burial spot of Alexander Spotswood Henry next to his father, Patrick Henry. Here are the graves of Patrick Henry and his wife, Dorothea. Patrick Henry, as you can see, died on June 6th of 1799. Dorothea outlived him by nearly 32 years. Uh, Dorothea would go on to marry Patrick's cousin, Edmund Winston. Um, Dorothea and Edmund were two of the executors of uh, Patrick Henry's will. So a lot of people feel that it was a marriage of convenience. Dorothea ended up outliving uh, Edmund and she died across the Halifax River, or across the Stanton River, over in Halifax County at Seven Islands, uh, the home of her daughter, uh, Sarah Butler. But uh, she had always said that she wanted to be buried next to Patrick Henry. So here we have the graves of Dorothea Henry and the American patriot, Patrick Henry.